Hey everybody, this is Eternally Prussians Warframe. I did not make an update 9 video quite yet because I was over a friend's house and when I saw this I was not pleased. I'm here with G-Maker, say hi. Hello. And what you're looking at is a completely revamped planet map. We're going to do Mercury Tolstoy. This is this update's called Vor's Revenge. I'm going to invite you, but I tried to I tried to take Captain Vor with a level 23 Ash. I almost died, and I was being intelligent about what I was doing. So, right now, I'm taking a, my level 30 Frost, and I don't know what you're bringing. I'm just going to bring my Banshee. Oh, 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 this graphic is really cool, though. It will show your Warframe when you click on it, so there's a 10 second timer rather than a 5 or a 3. And mm -hmm. this is levels 3 to 7, that's bullshit. A level 23 got its ass handed to it. I mean, and I used to be able to take a level 2 into, went into this mission and win. But now, I don't know what the hell they did, but they have made so many changes. So much for our death cubes able to solo him. Yeah, I thought that was kind of overpowered, but you know, the least they could have done is not this. I'll be right back because we're in the loading screen. Hey everybody, we're back. You know, they said that they wouldn't have any elemental hazards on the first level, first planet. That's a lie, because we just got spawned into an ice mission. And I'm not doing this crap with an ice mission. Oh, God, he's... He's not from the ass as it is. And they made all sorts of nasty color changes, I see. That purple is not supposed to be there. Uh, am I the only one who has a problem with this update? Uh, so-and-so. I, I, I mean, I was just already... Boinks. I was already, like by the fact that they had a, um... Oh god, no, 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 not a frame rate drop. No, oh, not now. Hold on a second. Alrighty. Need, need to make sure I can fix this. Okay! Should be running a little more optimally. Anyway, I am... No, we're supposed to go this way. <clears throat> yeah. I hope I'm not the only one who has a problem with the fact that these, um, cards like Energy Siphon, your Relic cards, are now actual mod cards. And if they cost me mod points, I'm going to be pissed, because seriously... And you can't even tell, it's a crapshoot, too. You might have three energy siphons when all you need is two in a rejuvenation. Not only that, but now my know your allies know... Whoa. That Grenier! Captain Boar's really changed, man. Yes, he yeah, has. He's not the man I... He's not the man... Oh, over here. He's not the man yeah. he used to be. Wow. The Boar reloads faster. Mm-hmm. I mean, they hey, did have... Get no, back no, here. Leave my... Leave my... Yeah. Okay, now he's dead. So... Okay. There you go. Oh, God. This is, this is the least of the updates from. They added the uh, new shuriken, which look like they're cool. I've built, but I haven't used them yet. They're, they're supposed to say haiku, but the Japanese for it is um, hiko or hikau. I'm not exactly sure on the pronunciation, but the point is it's not right. I have actually studied it, and I'm not exactly sure how it works, but I know it's not at all correct and stuff. I know what they were going for, but it just it isn't correct. Okay, that's nice. That flash will create him on my wall. I'm gonna hang your ass on my wall. I've also noticed that the lo the Lotus has been rather quiet. Holy crap! What? I just turned him into a living rocket. I did the Corpus boot rocket with him. Oh. What? Does he, have, does he have a void key plugged into him? What is oh, it? By looks of Level it. Level 45? Um, what? Someone want to explain that to me? Level oh, 45. He's the equivalent of a stalker. Yeah, thank god I have Freezy Pop Gold. Yeah, you can't hit him when he's like that, and you'll see the reflection of whatever Warframe you logged in as. So basically, all you have to do is sit on your ass, his shield can regen, and you can, uh, just play in the waiting game. Oh yeah, and you can, did I mention you can also teleport around a million? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm telling, I'm telling that to everybody else. Did I mention you can teleport oh. around a million? Oh. God. Uh, oh, wait. oh crap! What the? He can lay down Teslas? Or what was that? 
He's un he's un he's untouchable. We can't get him. Just just leave uh, him alone. Just just okay. seeing if I could somehow get my glaive in there. What the? I literally pumped up twelve shots into his body and ah, ah I pumped up ow twelve shots into his body and got nowhere. <laughs> Ow! Oh, Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. Oh, crap, you can lay down a Tesla. Oh my god, what was that noise? Sheer pistol barrel? Isn't that the new pistol that they added for him? Yeah, I, I got the... I, I already got one part of it. Oh, I got more fix. Oh, Morphix? Where'd you see the part? Was it was it there? It was right there inside the mod. Oh well, then I thought we got it. Yeah. Just this is that's not okay. They have buffed a bunch of crap. My know your enemies, which I just uploaded, is now defunct because now I have to cover a few extra here. I know I have to cover an extra ancient. I know I have to do some more corpus work. And I still have to look at those other weapons. So Captain Vor is no longer able to be killed you know, as easily or as usefully as he used to be. Now he's a friggin' beast tank creature. Whatever he even is anymore, with a friggin' void key plugged into him. This update's a mess. I mean, I'm not just complaining about Captain Boar, I'm complaining in general. They, they changed shit that did not need to be changed. Oh god, I just launched myself in the wrong direction. Eh. So, what are well, your thoughts on this? given that it's just a brand new update, they can still balance and fix things later on. I'm very sure shit gonna need to balance and fix things. I think this is not gonna go well. I haven't even equipped an aura yet, because I want to save the cards for the second part of this episode, because this update's big. Oh, did, did you hear the point to decrease the requirement for clan stuff? Like, what? You know, to make to make, um, to make clan buildings? Like, you know how it actually huh? used to be, like effort you would need to get Yeah, because yesterday I just went into the clan, checked up on the parts, and they're already building. Yeah, I know. That's what I didn't understand was frame rate. I didn't understand frame rate. Um, my problem with it was, I mean, our terrorist, our guild leader, good guy, literally said they have made it laughably easy. I alone can build the cross connector, can build the oracle, and the corpus research lab with just the materials he has. And I'm, and I'm saying to myself, that's pretty sad. Yeah, that is very sad. It's it just... They have a new research weapon, too, but <clears throat> I haven't gotten there yet. <sighs> they heck is laughably... Uh, Darn it! They heck is now laughably easy. I took out my rhino, and I didn't even expend all of my... Um, I still had 200-something organ ammo left. So, I, I ripped him apart. Oh, excuse me. This... I don't even know anymore. I mean, they changed level requirements too. Yeah, if, if you people knew anything about the solar system, that how it worked, disregard that completely, because it doesn't apply anymore. Uh, the only thing that still applies is Mercury is the first planet, and they have changed the level, and they have allowed hazards on those levels. The bosses have been jacked up. Let's face a level 60 hyena, kids. How does that sound? <laughs> Oh, in case that's not bad enough, um, the new boss, the Raptor, is is a horrid being. It's it's a corpus drone, and I went to challenge it with my frost, and my only complaint was that I was doing neck. I was doing. I, I literally unloaded about fifty to sixty rounds of my door into him. Um, he was about hmm, at least four fifths health. So. All I had to do, if I wanted to beat him, I would be there for about half an hour, spamming Ice Globe and um, the recharge thing, because I don't want to get hit by friggin' dropped meteors. Never mind the fact that they have this new BS Nightmare mode, where you lose 6 health per second, so if you try and take a Loki on that, good luck to you. I took it on my Rhino with the Thrak helmet, and I still remember, by the time I got to the Jackal, I had my ass handed to me, and I fell down. There, I had nothing left. So this is a fluster cluck of an update. And I find little to be satisfactory about it. I mean, I know they did some buffing here and there. They changed the drops on different planets. But... Just 
from what I've seen so far after at least a couple hours of play, I really don't like it. This is not a good update. They also changed the, um... Did you see the change in the workshop where you build all the stuff? Yeah, I noticed there's a big UI difference. Yeah, it's a huge difference, and I'm looking at that and I'm just like, how am I going to find anything in this? It's such a mess. Thank God for now, because there was a bug where you couldn't build stuff. Um, or you couldn't claim your items, I think the bug was. Thank mm -hmm. God that it's being temporarily brought back to the old one, because the old one made a lot of sense to me. And they released a second generation of helmets. Don't don't even look at the Vobin helmets. Spare yourself the audit, the, the, um, the misery of sight, because it looks terrible. Too late for me. Most of these uh, helmets are pretty crap. I don't like the look of any of them, with the exception of the new Trinity one. That looks badass. I'll show you the mod cards in a second, so you'll see the I saw the new Banshee one. That looks cool. But we'll discuss that in a second. So. so, so for me. Hold on. We'll discuss this in a second. Okay, everybody, and we are back. I just had to quit out because the frame rate drops like a fly if I leave it on when they're loading. You can see what's happened to all of these. They now stack. So if you got two energy siphons, you got two cards, and you can just chuck together all of these cards and boost it up. You can also use fusion cores and everything else you'd normally be able to use for that. And yes, they come with their own. Fusion cores now have their own special mark, and auras retain the tactical, the tactical, the defensive, and the offensive, just like a regular mod would. Uh, I'm gonna look in the market to show everybody. This is go. This is Nova, the brand new Warframe who costs 375 and I'm gonna be honest it's a little bit disgusting I don't I haven't heard anything not word one about powers or anything you can buy materials now I know it's direct platinum but that's a dangerous sort of thing going on right there it sort of removes the point of having to get items in the game and this credit bundle trade plat 90 platinum for 30,000 credits no now we're going to look at the helmet series here. Flux Nova helmet. I haven't seen Nova yet, so once I get her, I'll give my opinion on that. The Chorus Banshee helmet. You wanted to say something about that? Uh, personally, I don't find it very good looking. I'm practically just fine with the default, to tell you the truth, but... If I had to pick an alternate helm, I would choose the Chorus, because it actually does look kind of nice, but I do agree her default is amazing. Clan Emblem, we're going to skip over. Backdraft and Pendragon. Ugh. I'm sorry, just something about the Pendragon Excalibur helm looks wrong to me. Go to um, Market Equipment. Just check it I'm out. I'm already right here. Yeah. Backdraft Ember Helmet. Yeah. No thanks. Squall Frost Helmet. Dude, it looks like he got brain surgery. Jesus Christ, poor guy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Seriously, it looks like a brain surgery patient. He's missing the top half of his head. Vespa Nyx helmet. It doesn't look as cool as the Menticide, and I don't think the buff is very worth it. The Swindle Loki helm I got, and I'm not going to lie, despite how ridiculous it might look on screen, it actually does look kind of cool on the Loki. But you got to choose your color scheme carefully. I never liked any of the Mag helmets, so I'm going to skip over that. The Yeah, the Mag helmets. No. The Ash Helmet, though, the Locust, actually doesn't look too bad. A reduction to speed in exchange for energy capacity. I'm a freaking speed demon with that, which is how I designed him, which is why he has, like, no extra shields. So... Even with that reduction, you're still very fast. Yeah, I know, but I'm not going to get it. The Vanguard Rhino Helmet, I think, defeats the purpose of playing a Rhino. Add speed with a reduction of power strength. That... That, that sounds like that an... doesn't make much sense because Rhino's supposed to be a very big powerhouse. Exactly, and what's funny is the is the um, Excalibur. His increases. No, this one has increase add speed with a reduction of power strength. His is po increased power, but with a reduction of armor rating. Yeah, let's take the balanced character and make him unbalanced. That sounds nice. <laughs> Like, Slash Dash maxed out isn't enough damage. Yeah, I know. Uh, or Javelin, for instance. Oh, God, Javelin wrecks. Chlora, Saren Helmet, I never liked any of the Saren Helmets. And Reduction of Power Duration, why in God's name would you want that? You can have plenty of stamina. The Gambit, Vobin Helmet, that's a joke. 
Well, let's be honest. Why does he have a flying saucer on his head? I'm not even going to go there. And Oh my god, the Poles full helmet. Oh god. It's a giant friggin' mutated eyeball. Oh gosh. The only one out of here that looks cool is the Meridian Trinity helmet. That looks boss. Good point. Shield it capacity does. with a reduction of power efficiency. I can deal with that. Because I, I think I have an extra streamline. So that would work for me. I bought the Aura, sadly. And it doesn't look that good. And the bat, I don't like these new color packs they're introducing. Like before they had the 4th of July, which is red, white, and blue. Mm -hmm. Bastille, which is a reference to a French battle. I'm not going to go into detail. Is literally the exact same thing. It you, is. You are being swindled and pimped by the big business. In the words of Macklemore, if you buy Bastille and America. And never mind the fact that you already have red, white, and blue if you have the other color packs. I think I like the look of Nova's default a little bit better. It's kind of cool, but kind of weird. So I hope to be getting the uh, the new Warframe, maybe. And the Avatar packs, not worth it. The helmet packs, not really worth it. Sentinel Accessory Pack 2. I mean, let, let me look at this for a second. Sentinel Pack 1 for 80 plat comes with 7 to 8 parts. For half of that, you get 3. No. So right now, as you can imagine, I am... I am not doing very well with this. I'm not taking this well. I'm trying to build the Sobek, so I'm going to go kill more um, Fey Heck, but still, this is... This is so back to the new shotgun, right? Yeah. Ah. So, I'm not okay with this, as you can imagine. This is just... <sighs> Great. So back. It's kind of the alternate version of the uh, heck with reduced damage but higher clip size. That's not... Huh. No, that's that's what you have the boar for. Reduce... Wait a minute, they reduced the boar's damage, too. Great, I'll have to check Wait, they did? Yeah. The damage rather than 90 is now 72. What? Don't go Aww. there. Don't go there with me. I'm, I'm already not enjoying this. Well, looks like that's it from Eternal Impressions Warframe, sadly. And I'm going to have to try and work on me getting that Nova. Maybe. I'll give you more news on the update as I get it and as I try to figure this crap out. So, I don't know. I have to redo a couple Know Your Allies. I definitely have to redo my Know Your Enemies just as I finished it. And my Know Your Allies is now broken again because I don't have the Nova. So looks like I'll be waiting on that as well. And I may have to do some more re-uploading that aside. So right now, things are looking a little less than stellar for the Warframe community. That's just my opinion, though. I got a Snipatron Vandal. Yay me. Anything you'd like to conclude about this update before we end it off? Uh, nothing much, although I'm kind of interested in the new Primes. I couldn't care less about most primes, to be honest. But, oh, and if you see these skulls, these are nightmare-level missions. My only advice to that is good luck, kids. So, that's it from Eternal Impression. Say bye. Bye. Bye.